hello friends and welcome back to our youtube channel i believe you guys are doing well out there uh really this is Adata farm so an Adata farm will teach you a lot of things you need to know about agriculture so if you're facing any challenges on your farmland maybe in your poultry farm in your fish farm or crops you can kindly switch to Adata farm videos i believe when you watch up to three of our videos you will find solution to what's really bothering you in your farm so uh I got a few, few questions that was last year towards this year so about mother ants the one that can help us brood our chicken so uh, our chicks our little chick that will help, help us hatch them naturally and help us brood them so i make a research on that now and i got questions on the ones that can leave fertile eggs too really i you know this 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 won't be the one of uh, the labs or whatever the hatchery the one they do in the hatchery but do, this will be the one we'll be practicing at home so uh, i will still make a research on the ones that will leave fertile eggs uh, as soon as possible but for now we are going to talk about the mother ants so if you are just joining us before i go into that if you are just joining us for the first time like i said early we do we talk about agriculture here and we make reviews on th some some of these things so we talk about you know we make solution to all the things that might be bothering farmers so in case you are new here can let subscribe to our new, uh, youtube channel and uh, click the notification bell to get notified when next we drop a new content like this for you so the reason for subscribing is just to get notified so that you don't miss out whenever time we drop videos for you so please kindly do that we will really appreciate that so the first thing i will talk about i because uh with my research i got four there might be a lot out there but i got four that are very very known for brooding they are very good in that and the number one of it is the seekings so you can see it does come with different colors uh but it doesn't have uh patches but it comes you will see the one of pure white pure brown pure black or any other color precisely but as you can see they are small and beautiful so they are very good for uh, brooding so they are known as a queen and so they are very good in that so what you just do is you take your fertile eggs don't go to the grocery store and get eggs and drop it on that and tell me it doesn't hatch so get a fertile eggs if you have a fertile eggs that is what you do that is what you are going to put on that then for that to help you to brood it so it's just as simple as that so the number one is the seekings very good in that number two you know i just talk about brahma uh not long so you can check the brahma chicks brahma uh, farming farming in nigeria it's down there you can check the video too so vam uh brahma rather <laughs> sorry about that brahma are very good they are mother chicks as well so they are very good in hatching and brooding our chicks so they are one of the breed that are very very good in that as well so brahma and you know they come with different colors just unlike our noila but they don't have uh that number of color like that of noila so that is uh that about brahma that is number two so the, the number three is uh we have the opritons so that one too they are very very good in that too they are one of the best mother ants that we have that are currently you know they will they will hatch your eggs and they will nurture the kids the chicks for you so that is one of it then we have the coachings too that is number four i told you all these names they might be sounding new to you but uh, outside the country we have lots of it there so that is what they are doing so in case you need something like this what you are going to do is just to find a way to you know import them to get them in to nigeria we don't have all this breed even the one of brahma i think we are rearing them little by little because it is not nigeria breed they are importing them i'm very very soon i'm very sure it will get many so uh we have the coachings number four it, they are very very good in that as well so uh let me quickly tell you how you can you know do the eggs and how it's going to hatch so the first thing you are going to do is you get infertile the one that is not fertile eggs the one that are not fertile so you get it or you get anything that looks like eggs exactly so you you take it after you take those that, that eggs you make 
the kind of place that the beds will you know be, will be sleeping on top of this you know the essence of uh, the essence of sleeping on the eggs is to generate heat so heat is the reason why our eggs will arch so that is what they are that is that is that is the reason why they make uh, artificial incubator to you know do that it's all about heat so the egg the chick the chicken must lay on top of that egg so the reason why i said you should take fake egg to practice at the, at the first place is just to know if the chicken would actually sleep on that eggs i hope you are getting my voice um my, my words rather I hope you are getting me. So the reason for that is just to get uh, to know if the mother hen will actually lay on the eggs you are dropping on the ground for her. So if you test this for something like three days and she does, so you take away that fake one, then you take your original, your fertile eggs. So if you are having maybe something like two, three braids, so you should know how you take a marker and you mark it. So we, is that with different color or with different shape just to know the one that is hatched, the one they, they hatch and the one that they, doesn't, they, don't, they don't hatch. So the one they breed that she hatched the most, you know, something like that, just, just to get it. So once you do that, you, you find a very dark place. You know, chicken, they do love, uh, they love going to that place to sleep on their eggs, to lay eggs, to, you know, those who have experience about local chicken will actually know what I'm talking about. So you find a, uh, a dark place for, for her, either you make the one of carton or you find iron or any, any, any other place that you can keep the chicken to the front door, the, the open space, it won't be much, or you use any other thing to cover the, the front so that nothing gets to disturb Ah, uh, you don't keep such chicken. Any chicken you want to use for something like this, you don't keep them close to uh, other chickens. Where chicken are many, they will actually disturb her uh, and they won't let her to lay on those uh, eggs. So don't practice that. If you want to make your chicken to, you know, all these are uh, the above listed, or if you get any other one, or maybe you are using your local chicken. So if you want to, if you want them to help you to hatch, so you don't put them where they will be disturbed. You put them in a private place, so that is where they will stay, and they will be sleeping on those eggs. You know, they they will hardly find they will find it very hard to come out to live there and eat, even. If they need food, if they are starved, they will just come out within very few minutes. They will run back to that place and sleep on it. So that is the first thing, the first second thing to do. You take the fake eggs, you test them. If they will slightly lay on it, then after you detect the lay on it, then you take the original one. You put you put it there. So when you put it there, you try to do what you make make sure that place is a darkened place, place that is covered, so that there will be enough heat, darkness. You know for the chicken so after that you wait till seven day you wait if the chicken doesn't come out that is very good so you wait till seven the seventh day so you take okay, you know you know how to you, all this the chick all this uh chicken that i just listed they are very friendly so they are not unlike our local chicken that if you get close to them they will be you know but not until they you know hatch their uh chicks you can still go there so on the seventh day you go there you Put your hands, take one or two, or all of the chick, uh, the eggs rather, if possible. So you take all of it out. You you know the, you know how you know how you used to do it. Some people use candles, some people use torchlight. So you take the eggs up, you light under, just to know if you see any uh, brown ropes, you know something like that that is forming inside. That means the the eggs is fertile. That means the eggs are fertile. So you take. After you detect that, yes, the eggs are fertile, you pick them and put them back to that place. So you start, you know, monitoring the chicken. So on 14th day again, you know, it will take a chicken 21 days to hatch their eggs. So on the 14th day, what you still do is go back there. You still pick those eggs. So you don't stop and you don't let it to stay long. Within how many minutes? Very few minutes, you take it back. So... You take it again you bring them outside your light you check if it is forming so you know if something is forming inside eggs you will know if you light it you will, everything will show so if it is forming you you will know so you have to return it there so after you return it there you leave the chicken till the day that it will arch it's just as simple as that but 
if your chicken is not coming out to eat, you just have to go there, pick the chicken, bring her out, give give her a few, just little food. Because, you know, at that very point, they won't even have the appetite to eat much. So they only eat little. So you let you let the chicken to eat at least to have strength. So if it eats back, you take it. If she can't go back to that place, you take her back, put her on the eggs again so that the eggs will continue to be warm till it reach the day of hatching so after that you wait till on the 20, uh, 21st so you will see the chicken you, you don't disturb uh the chicken if it's hatching and don't try to pull any chicks out of their eggs by force so you let the mother to do that so once that is done so you can have your chicken so if she keep her for you know she will she will keep all those chicken for a few time then you cannot separate them and you continue with your artificial brooding you know it might she might brood, brood them for very few days then you keep them in a separate place to do what you continue your brooding it's just as simple as that that is just uh the very few you know uh, little step to take to brood your chicken artificial this uh this uh, system is just for those uh who are going into you know backyard farming little uh stock like that so it is for them for those who are practicing stuff like that so i talk about the the mother and so we have the sequins we have the brahma we have the uh us whatever it is called and we have the coachings so that is just that about uh, mother and so you can actually uh, maybe if i make a research and i still get more of it i will uh, i will bring it to your hearing like i always tell you so if there is more to this i will let you know but don't forget this is all i have for you now so and uh, don't forget to keep on subscribing to our youtube channel and don't leave this channel and we'll keep on bringing all the best that we have for you so stay on and keep on watching our videos thanks for watching